What's up guys, JV2017 here with another Destiny Tips and Tricks video. Today we're looking at the full Legendary Raid Armor sets for all three Guardian classes that will drop in the new Crota's End Raid. Again, this raid should launch a week after the Dark Below expansion, which comes out on December 9th. Be sure to take all of this information with a grain of salt though, because most of it is not 100% confirmed. So first we're looking at the Hunter Raid set, and what I've constructed here is all of the pieces, you know, you can see them on the screen right now, including the class armor. So some things to note, first off the light level, it says light 27, so each of these pieces gives you 27 light, that's a placeholder number, that's not confirmed, so keep that in mind. Also note that the gauntlets and the chest armor don't have any modifiers. And that'll be the case on the Titan and the Warlock sets, just because I don't have that information for you guys, my source doesn't have it. So I apologize, I, it's not there, but we'll find out very soon when the DLC comes out. So let's talk about the modifiers on the helmet first, the Unyielding Cask. We have Causing Damage with a Grenade reduces your melee cooldown. So that's a thing. And then we have Moment of Power, which is very unique to this raid. Gain a temporary increase to weapon damage while Oversoul's Gaze is active. Now I do know for sure that Oversoul is the final boss in Crota's End. So, you know, this modifier here gives you a temporary weapon, you know, damage boost whenever some kind of buff is active. This is kind of like Atheon's, you know, Times Conflux or whatever that was buff. You know, that's going to be similar here. So, that's, you know, really what's going on there with that modifier. Let's talk about the legs here, the Tireless Strider's Leg Armor. So the first one is carry more ammo for heavy weapons. I wouldn't, you know, say that's a guarantee right there. It might be another weapon category, so keep that in mind. And then we have another unique little uh, thing here. Gain a temporary increase to agility while carrying the sword of a hive sword bearer. That's called Sword Bearer's Touch. And so increased agility allows you to jump higher and run faster. So once you're carrying that sword, which sounds like really cool, I can't wait to see what the actual application of this is, you will run faster. So that's all I really have for the Hunter set, let's move on to the Titan set. The first thing to note is that this set actually has a name, it's Will Breakers. So the Titan raid set here is Will Breakers. So all of these pieces have a nice name on them and it's really actually a lot of the same stuff. With the helmet, the first modifier is different, increases melee attack speed. However, that second modifier is also moment of power. So that's gonna be super important during that Oversoul's gaze, you know, whatever that actually turns out to be in the raid while we're fighting the Oversoul. And then the Willbreaker's Greaves, again, are the same thing. There's, it's just, you know, the same thing. So there's nothing else to say. Kowad! Okay, back to it. There's nothing else to say. Uh, I mean, that first modifier, again, may be different, but it's pretty much the same thing going forward. The final set we're looking at is, of course, the Warlocks, and this is called the Death Singers raid set, I suppose. And again, we're looking at the same modifiers pretty much across the board. However, on the helmet, the first one increases grenade throw distance. That's really the only difference. Everything else seems to be the same across the board. Again, this is all speculative guys don't take any of this to heart but uh you know all of this data was mined from the game you know these assets were put in the game on the newest update so uh you know it's it's not concrete but it's as close as you know, it gets to concrete i guess you could say another thing that's cool about this with the warlock bond we have the bone circlet which actually looks pretty cool it's gonna look cool i hope it glows i like glowing warlock bonds those are my favorite so Anyways, guys, let me know in the comment section below, what do you think about this, you know, raid set? What do you think about these special modifiers? That's pretty much the best uh, I, thing about this stuff, about this information, is knowing what these modifiers do. We don't know exactly what the application is yet, but uh, it's interesting to kind of see the modifiers. We get a sneak peek into how the raid is going to function, and that's pretty cool. So... Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you learned something new, remember to hit that like button. I'd really appreciate it. Also, don't forget you can subscribe to this channel for more Destiny tips and tricks content on the daily. Talk to you guys next time. Peace.